This week on Orwell was an optimist. We're going to take part in some street action. There's going to be a march against torture in San Jose. We're all about to get on board the anti-torture train. More later on this. Sign up. Hey. Well, here we are on the anti-torture train. There's probably 40 or 50 people already here with us. Once again, Jefferson Data Plan is a company that does logistics for flights around the world. One year ago, it was revealed in the New Yorker magazine that Jefferson Data Plan is doing the logistics for the CIA's extraordinary rendition flights. Let's be honest, they're torture flights. They grab people off the streets who are suspected of terrorism, spirit them away to a country where they will be tortured. This is illegal, immoral, and should not be a policy of our country, and that's what we're doing today. We're gathering a bunch of activists, taking the train down to San Jose, and we're going to march on Jefferson's headquarters. The Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors is currently considering a resolution condemning torture and calling on Jefferson to cut their ties to the CIA. So part of our action today is going to be helping support that and get it passed. Will it make Jefferson cut their ties to the CIA? We don't know, but we've got to try. So we've been passing these out on Caltrain and had some interesting conversations actually with people along the way. Some of course don't want them, but other people have asked more questions about it. Anyway, so the conductor stopped us finally and said, you know, I'm really on your side. And he took a copy, but I can't let you hand them out on the train, but please do it on the platform. Street action like this is not only an important part of the grassroots movement, it's an important part of American democracy. People literally demonstrating their opposition to some outrageous policy. In this case, the immoral, illegal policy of torture, outsourcing torture, extraordinary rendition. We're out here in the streets to say no to torture, no to Jefferson, cut the ties to CIA, end the torture flights.
they compared it to some of the worst legislation in American history. It is painful for me to stand here in the city that has become my home to talk about how my government has chosen to use torture against real and perceived enemies and that a citizen, a business citizen of my city, that my city is participating. Well, that was an interesting little scene. A group of pastors wanted to go in and talk to Jefferson, ask why they didn't respond to the letter that had been sent. They were descended on immediately by security. They knew we were coming today. They don't want to confront this issue. That's why we'll be back to keep confronting them, confront the Board of Supervisors, confront the mayor of this city to get Jefferson either out of the CIA or out of San Jose. a pretty successful action. We're all here on the train heading home. It's not going to stop torture right away. This administration has been taking us for a ride for seven years now and they've run the country right off the rails. But it's actions like this repeated over and over again around the country by thousands and thousands of people that will set things right again. And that's where I get my optimism. I'm Paul George, here to tell you Orwell was an optimist.